And at the top of the news, Mr. Lou Fraga, the special effects wizard to Roman Pictures from Signals and Time Refugees, and currently working on his own production. If I'm not mistaken, Sharon had the liberty of speaking to Mr. Lou Fraga. Let's see what she had to say to him. Hello, we're here with Lou Fraga, the DP for Roman Pictures, and we're going to speak to him a little bit about his past projects that he has done. Um, Lou, can you tell us a little bit about some of the projects that you've done before? I understand that you did a movie called The Percentage. Could you tell us a little bit about that and how you made that and, and the background for that? Uh, the Percentage is something I had rolling around in my head for actually a few years mm -hmm. and looking for an excuse to shoot it. We bought some new camera equipment and wanted to try it out, try out a different look, uh, is the Red Rock Microsystem. And trying to get video which has a really deep depth of field where everything way back up close is in focus. So I was trying to get it really shallow. One person to focus, everything else fuzzy. It's not just the shipments. They've been skimming the profits. They should be worked over pretty good by now. Mike, you can end this. I don't care what you do, I want my money back. I know my job. Very nice. Now you I'm would, happy with it. Good, good. Well, you've done some projects before that. I guess you did a shorter project on your own. Can you tell me a little bit about that one? Yeah, that was actually our first camera test um, called the DISC, and it's actually very violent um, and dark. Uh, but uh, it, our sound guy, I was trying to, it, again, it was, it was me trying to get a shallow depth of field, but with the newer lenses, everything is in focus and nice and sharp and pristine. Mm -hmm. And... As I'm trying to make it moody, my sound guy commented perfectly, he said, it looks like a reality TV show. <laughs> <laughs> it's not moody. Okay. Um, so. It's not quite the effect you were looking for when you did that. Yeah. No. Okay. No. Okay. It's too cheery of an image for I a see. darker subject matter. Right. Realize. Okay. Now, I noticed I watched some of the percentage, and I was watching that, and um, I noticed you had some scenes where you were filming in a car. Um, I was wondering if that was green screen, how you did that, or how did you make the image that looked like you were actually rolling down the road, because I understand you weren't actually rolling no. down the road. So how did you create that? Uh, we brought the cars into the warehouse, and we lit the actors inside the cars, and we had rear screen projection. You put up a big translucent screen behind the car mm. and shoot video through it. Oh, okay. And we had gone out uh, a couple of days earlier with a, just a standard video camera out for a night drive and literally just held the camera outside of the car for 20 seconds here, went that way, 20 seconds there, 20 seconds facing straight back. Okay. Uh, and then we loaded up the footage on a DVD, had to flip the image because when it's coming through, it's being projected that way, but you're seeing it over here. So you flip it so it's right side out. Uh huh. Okay. Um, so then it looks the correct direction. Right. So they're driving. Great. So. Now, but I noticed also it looked like there were lights flashing, like you were actually driving down the street. And how yeah. did you create that effect? Uh, Mark, who is not going to be on camera, um, <clears throat> he's being bashful today. Uh, he was uh, holding a light um, that he basically shined it up and brought it back down facing away but so you get that the wave of light on effect. them okay. of they're going underneath the light or other headlights so he was constantly doing this to both the actors or all the actors in the cars so oh. it looked like they're driving around okay there you go yeah. your special effects secrets okay. gotta sell the illusion <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And now you're working with a uh, outfit called Icon Iconograph, Iconograph Iconograph Studios. Okay. And well, just Iconograph. Let's just Iconograph. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me about some of your projects that you're doing with them? Uh, games and movies and comic books. Well, comic books and movies right now, games to come. Um, we're shooting a series of shorts uh, that we're going to be releasing soon called The Phenomenots. Um, it's little satire it's comedy horror and we're also shooting a sci-fi series uh called plague of man uh -huh. and it's a very large universe I see. of uh, several hundred years worth of stories okay. so we're we're working out which ones we want to tell all right and we've shot one short that is going to be a little over 12 minutes long uh, when it's finally finished we're in the post-production right now doing 3d and map paintings and all the 
all the fun post work that okay. takes forever. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so when you say sci-fi series, are you planning on actually trying to make that into a TV series or TV or series, that? set of movies, um, comic books, games, mm -hmm. everything. Uh, it's a very, very large universe uh, with a lot of room to play. Okay. Now, are there any special effects techniques, like for, you know, new ones maybe you've used to do the Plague of Man that you didn't do with the other ones? Um, as far as programs that you use on your computer, or uh, we're using Cinema 4D uh, for the for the three D elements, um, After Effects for uh, all the compositing, uh, Photoshop for everything in between, mm -hmm. and uh, pretty much the entire Adobe production suite to put it together. Okay. Um, and uh, now this first couple that you mentioned have you used those a lot before or oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay uh, we I've, the after effects and premiere yes uh cinema 4d i'm still actually quasi learning uh right now we are um we've sent out word that we need help with um matte painting 3d uh concept art and mm -hmm. we're getting responses in and we're we're just now sifting through and going to wait a little while to see how many we get and who we can divvy what to. Okay, great. So you're going to actually bring in more people to help yes. with the project. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, great. They seem pretty enthusiastic about it. Right. Which is really well, nice. Good. Yeah, that's always <laughs> we nice. We need them to be enthusiastic. We need a about. little enthusiasm around yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. That's a really cool product. So. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, I saw some of it. It looks really nice. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, and now let's talk a little bit about Room and Picture, some of the work that you do with them. Um, you were the DP for Signals, which went to the festivals, and we won the best sci-fi action film at that. That was mm -hmm. great out in L.A. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of the special effects that you did for Signals? That was a lot of fun. Um, it looked like it. <laughs> <laughs> I made ricochets flying all around everybody in the gunfights, uh, going eyes. Uh, streams of energy coming out of people, energy all over the air around them uh, when they when they go off. Um, it, it was an awful lot of fun. Now, is that some new techniques or new programs that you use for signals, or are those the same sort of ones that you also use for Plague of Man and some of the other things that you've done? Uh, same programs. Um, it was a lot of trial and error uh -huh. to figure out how to make the eyes glow without looking cartoonish. So that it would it would fit in with the rest of the footage, right? Uh, and it, it needed to look integrated. Otherwise, it, you're taken out of the movie and you, you don't buy it. Yeah. Um, it looks and, great. Uh, oh, thank you. Well, thank <laughs> um, you, actually. But, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was a lot, it was a lot of fun to do, uh, but a lot of head scratching. Uh, yeah. Figuring out the process of, of getting it yeah. to fit. That's the fun part, though. Mm -hmm. and scratching, and then Eureka! It works. I have found it. Okay. Yes. Now do it for everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> exactly. That's great. Great. All right. Uh, so, what are your plans? What else are you going to be working on coming up? You know, working on well, time refugees with us, right? Working Doing on time a lot refugees more. with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, shooting some of the scenes, um, not all of them. But uh, some of the scenes with you guys doing the 3D work um, for Time Refugees as well, coming up with pods and, this? and the special effects What's for it. Um, well, I guess that's all for now. Is there anything else that you had to tell us about? Any other projects you're working on? Or I guess you got your hands full enough with all that, don't you? Uh, yeah. yeah, keep checking the Time Refugees site for more special effects and footage and interviews and stuff like that. And keep checking Iconograph. It's iconographstudios.com for all our projects and special effects and everything coming up. And of course, roman-pictures.com for everything that we're working on. All mm -hmm. right. Very oh, good. yeah. Good. <laughs> all right. Okay. This is Lou Fraga we've been talking with. He's been doing all of our special effects for us for everything for Roman Pictures. And obviously, he has a lot of his own projects going, <laughs> too. Very talented man. We're very lucky to have him. Well, thank you. Thank you very, thank you very much, much, Lou. All right. You're very welcome.